Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing another plan with me. And this week I'm really excited because I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be using mainly black stickers and adding some watercolor. So I haven't really, I've done one other spread with watercolor. This is gonna be my second spread. And I think it's so fun and it really, um, I don't know, it changes up the spread and makes it a little bit more interesting to look at. So my idea for this spread is to do some orange and purple watercolor in the back, like around the pages, and then use black stickers. So hopefully it turns out good and yeah. So I chose to do purple and orange because I thought those are good Halloween colors, especially since I'm doing black stickers. And what I'm gonna be doing is just lightly using the purple and the orange and kind of just randomly putting it around the pages, kind of making it look a little bit more smudged and um, definitely using a little bit more water than color, if that makes any sense. I want it to be um, more pastel-y that if that makes sense but um yeah so I'm just gonna do little groups of purple and then little sections of orange and um, do a couple of those around the page
Okay, so now that I'm done with the watercolor and I've let it dry a little bit, I'm gonna be using stickers from the Functional Sticker Book that came in the Little Bloom box a couple months ago. Um, this is a perfect sticker book for this spread, especially because it has primarily um, black color, or not colorful boxes, but black boxes, which is what I want to use to stick to my theme of all black stickers. And so what I'm doing, as I always do, is start with the biggest stickers and um, and then, you know, add more smaller stickers on top. And so as I just showed you, I'm going to be using those black spider webs from that small Halloween sticker pad. Um, these ones are really cool because they're shiny and really, really pop on the page. And so I'm going to be putting those throughout my spread and um, doing some layering and adding some more boxes. Um, yeah, definitely mainly using from the functional sticker book. So now I'm gonna layer some of those spider webs um, randomly around the page, um, trying my best to layer them and make them look um, as cool as possible. Um, and I think they're really cute. I don't like spiders at all. So I'm not gonna be using any of those spider stickers, just the spider webs, um, but um, so yeah, and now I'm gonna be adding some more boxes. This is me just trying to figure out where to put these hexagons. Um, and I thought they looked kind of cool layering them next to each other. And then I'm gonna be placing some more functional sticker boxes. I have a pretty busy week this week, so I'm gonna need as many functional stickers as I can get. And now I'm just gonna place these really cute decorative bat stickers. Um, this is kind of the point where, in my plan with me, where I usually just add more decorative things. I've kind of placed down everything I needed, which are those boxes, and now I'm gonna be a little bit more decorative and use some of these really cool Halloween themed stickers. Anytime a sticker book has stars, I always like to use them. I think they're great for just adding to um, my spread and making it look a little bit more pretty. I thought it would be cool to layer them on top of the spider webs. And so you'll see me do that. And now I'm gonna move around some stickers because I wasn't feeling too sure about how I like the spread so far. And so I'm just gonna move some stickers around. I'm gonna take off these hexagon boxes and adding a circle sticker. And then I'm gonna layer that um, boo sticker on top of it and take off and move around some other things. I love my spreads to be decorative and festive, but I don't want it to be too much. And so that's why I took off some stickers and now I'm just gonna add some washi tape, which is my favorite thing to do in all my spreads. I think it adds so much to the page and it's just fun. And it's a really easy way to add more layering to your spread too.
Now I'm just adding a couple more extra boxes and adding back those cute little um, pumpkin faces. And then last but not least, layering a couple more of those stars on my page. All right, so I think that is it. I'm really happy with the way this spread came out. I think my vision definitely came to life. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you want more Plan With Me's, um, please let me know and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.